Imagine if millions of Americans were suffering from a poorly understood condition that could not be prevented, adequately treated, or cured. That's exactly what's happening today to service members, veterans, and others who suffer from post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injury. 20 U.S. veterans commit suicide every day. Since 2001, nearly 350,000 service members have been diagnosed with traumatic brain injury. One in five who served in Iraq and Afghanistan have experienced post-traumatic stress disorder. I know that there are 10 that I can count uh, guys from my unit who have died by suicide and drug overdose. This is the invisible epidemic, and we can't fix what we can't see. Antidepressants and talk therapy may help, but we can do more. We can understand the science behind how PTSD and TBI rewire the brain so that we can develop personalized therapies that work for each individual. At Cohen Veterans Bioscience, we have the best minds from around the world collaborating on projects that are bigger than any one lab could do alone. And we help scientists share data so insights come faster. And most importantly, we're translating those discoveries into innovations that help people. But we can't do this alone. To win this battle, we need support from policymakers, business leaders, scientists, along with people like you who care about veterans and want to make a difference. The Department of Veteran Affairs does recognize that the situation that we're dealing with is a crisis. While we recognize our substantial role in dealing with the crisis, we really need to do it with partners. We don't have all the answers, and I think we have to be open to new ideas because we just have to do better. Together, we can step up and support those who put themselves in harm's way for our protection. We can put an end to this invisible epidemic once and for all.